I'm Jim Dwyer. I'm a columnist with the New York Times. We're on Longwood Avenue in the South Bronx. The South Bronx is one of the poorest congressional districts in the country. Earlier this week, Jose Serrano, the congressman from this neighborhood, voted against the $700 billion Wall Street bailout. We spoke to some of the people in this neighborhood about what they thought. You think we ought to give them $700 billion? I think we should give it to, you know, people. If we gave it to everybody else, we can bail each other out, then we could put it back into the economy, mm-hmm. and we wouldn't be having the problem that we're having. I don't see where uh, uh, the change, however it go, is going to affect me as an individual or as part of the community. You know, it's corporate America doing what corporate America does. You know, that's all it is. So organized crime. Basically, the it's the new organized crime. Yeah. Ain't nothing new about it. Ain't nothing new about it. We're not going to see none of that. Not one red cent. No. You know? Whichever way it goes. Whatever way it goes, we ain't going to feel it. We ain't going to see it. You know? And if we do feel it, it's going to be negatively. A few of us might lose a few more jobs. You know? But we ain't going to feel nothing you know, positive about it. Um, I'm thinking on a personal level that it may trickle down. Um, and eventually, my boss may lose his job, and you know, companies may, and then my old 401k. I'm hoping nothing will happen there. So, I have some concern, but um, I think at this point we have no choice. Yeah, I have spoken to people that that they were here in the depression, you know, many years back, and they had told me, you know, what people used to go online with tickets, you know, to buy food. You think we might be facing something like that again? And I think it's, it's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. I mean, if things don't change, you know, it's going to happen again. 